Hey guys, welcome back to AIR Reptile Rescue. Today we're going to talk about uh, your daily care requirements. This is the steps we take for their daily care on our ball pythons. Um, as you guys can see, Patty's out with me. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is changing the water daily. And whenever you do your water change, check inside the water. Look in there, it will look like little bugs that are floating around or swimming around. Those would be mites. Always check your water whenever you change it out daily. Um, the reason I change daily is because of the fact that if my snake is moving around her substrate, she decides to go in her uh, water bowl, she's carrying dirt into that water. I don't want her drinking and ingesting that dirt. So I try to change her water daily. Um, next, check your temperatures and humidity. Make sure they are correct. Um, your temperature should be 85 to 90 on the hot side, and then 75 to 80 on the cool side. Always remember that, because if it's too hot, your snake's going to be uncomfortable, they're going to get overheated, and it's not going to be a good thing. Um, they need that cool side, they need those cooler temperatures to be able to cool off if they get too hot and feel they want to get to a cold side. Um, for humidity... 50 to 60% whenever they're not shedding, um, and then 70 to 80 whenever they are. The reason you want to bump up that humidity to 70 to 80% is the extra moisture helps loosen them old scales off of them so that whenever they're shedding, it makes it easier for them to get the old scales off and shed it off of them. Uh, we're going to talk about shedding in a later video. Um, spot check... Uh, daily for if you if your ball python has used the bathroom in their enclosure uh i don't have anything to show you that's an example because i did a deep clean yesterday on their enclosures but for me i don't spot clean every day i spot clean then i deep clean then i spot clean then i deep clean i alternate with this because of the fact that i always want to make sure that i'm checking under their substrate also to see if they've used the bathroom and it's been buried. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, leaving the excrements from where they use the bathroom at in their enclosure can cause these guys to get sick. That will cost you a lot of money at the vet if they get sick. Um, this is one of the reasons we recommend a daily check so you can pull that out of their enclosure to keep them healthy. Um, as always, handle daily. Um, as you guys always see, I always have one of my snakes for any of my videos. They're always being handled. They're always being messed with. Uh, they are always getting their attention they need. Handle at least 30 minutes a day. We're going to talk about handling actually in the very next video on how to properly handle your snakes, what's right and wrong as far as how to pick them up and how to put them back in their enclosures. Things like that. Um, Patty's going to be with us for that video also. And I'm gonna, whenever I put her back in her enclosure during that video, I'll show you the proper way to take her out and put her in. Um, to where it won't hurt her and it won't scare her. Uh, we're going to head to the back in just a second to go ahead and actually take you guys through on another video. We're going to do this in a two-part we're going to do the second part where I'm actually going to go step by step on how we check their enclosures. You're going to have to move hides. You're going to have to move clutter. Um, they will use the bathroom anywhere and everywhere in their enclosure. So moving hides, decorations, uh, looking under their water bowl, all of that will have to be done. Um, their waters won't be changed in the next video because we're going to do that later on this evening. Uh, we always do it around nighttime whenever they're up and active. So that they have fresh water to get into at night. Um, so let's go ahead and wrap this up here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the very next video. Which is going to be showing you guys how we do our daily requirements. And how we check their cages. 